everybody the 4th of July, okay? Everybody knows it's the American holiday where Americans start wildfires, blow their fingers off, kill themselves, literally, um, and do property damage, uh, all in the name of uh, remembering the time that a bunch of soldiers got shell shock from British troops bombarding them in a tiny fortress on the east coast of America. I can't remember where. I think it was in Virginia or something. I don't fucking remember. Uh, who cares? The point is, uh, Americans celebrate a holiday where we ritualistically blow things up in the sky. Now, in the in ye olden days, okay, in ye days of yore, uh, fireworks were not uh, like super, super commercially available, okay? And people didn't really like people throwing sticks of dynamite around for no reason. And so, um, so you know, you would get pretty limited uh, uh, fireworks shows, which would be facilitated by like a town or by a city. And usually the fire department would be involved to make sure that it goes off safely. And there would be a big show with a big finale. It would be about an hour long and you'd see all the amazing lights and people would eat some stuff. Now, however, um, in nowadays, we have this thing uh, called consumer grade fireworks, which are incredibly, incredibly popular all across the United States um, and are horrible, okay? I'm just gonna be completely honest. They can be fun in extremely minimal doses, okay? But every other house in a major city uh, deciding to personally fire uh, consumer grade mortar shells into the sky is a bridge too far, okay? I hate to be the Perrain Raider. You guys, uh, the, wow, the Parade Rainer? What the hell was that? Uh, I hate to be the old man yelling at Cloud. Uh, I hate to be the party pooper. You guys know that generally I have a pretty rebellious spirit. But this isn't, it's not cool, okay, guys? It's not cool to uh, uh, just shoot an ungodly amount of mortar shells into the sky for no reason at all for a week surrounding the fourth, okay? It's not fun, it's not cool, and it's actually really terrible for basically everyone, okay? Every firework that goes off uh, affects an incredible amount of people, okay? I'm talking one firework affects it, it fired a single firework fired in a suburb affects like a hundred people in a city a single firework could affect thousands of people some of those people might have like actual literal heart conditions some of those people might have ptsd they might be veterans and they might have ptsd tons of people will have dogs birds and cats which cannot comprehend or deal with fireworks which is generally why firework shows are historically confined to waterfronts or or uh, large lakes where where you can shoot them off with relatively few people being affected except for the people who want to be there um this this shit of everybody firing them off in suburbia and in the middle of the city for hours and hours on end is fucking st it's it's unacceptable okay it's just yesterday let me tell you my personal story okay i am not particularly stressed out by fireworks personally i it doesn't bother me the booms are whatever i know that they're fireworks and i don't have any explosion related triggers or anything like that however my dog does. My dog is terrified of booms. And when I say terrified, I mean like conv like shaking convulsions level terrified. And every 4th of July, no matter where, no matter what we try to do, my dog is scared shitless all day, the entire day. And we do everything we can to calm her down, but it literally drives her crazy. And there's no reason for it to go from the 2nd of July, sometimes well into the 6th. People were still firing mortar shells near my house off at 3 a.m. this morning. I w was woken up by mortar shells personally, and I know for God's sake my dog was.
okay? Not to mention, let me just talk about another thing, which is Americans do not have a social spirit, okay? Americans are like the most unhealthy and antisocial people on the entire goddamn planet. So there isn't any like cool, chill day afterwards where everybody cleans up their garbage. Instead, Americans, they basically say, well, you know, the authorities say we can fire fireworks on the 4th. That means whatever says goes. This morning, our yard, our car, our porch, we fired zero fireworks. Our roof, our yard, our car, and our porch was covered in accelerant, debris, pieces of gunpowder, uh, uh, colorful wrappings, uh, uh, un, un, dis, unexploded ordnance. It, and nobody, none of these people who were firing them over our house so that they could see them from their house uh, came by to say, hey, here's our, here's the, here, July 6th is cleanup day where we go around and, and, and offer to clean up all the trash in the yard. No, you just have to clean up everybody else's garbage that they literally fire into your yard as a projectile. It fucking sucked. It, it that sucks, okay? I'm sorry, I don't, I, I, even if I was totally 100% chill with everybody in their got every other neighbor bombarding uh, uh, the skies for hours on end, the trash alone is a fucking, it's heinous and nobody cares. The roads are covered in garbage now. All of the, all of our side streets covered in fucking garbage. Wildfires are caused by this shit. And that's not even me getting into the worst part of all. The worst, the true sin. Because as all humans, we deserve the, the, the fruits of the society. I don't believe that. I don't actually believe that random people deserve the punishment of the society they believe in. But regardless, it would be, you know, all of us live in society. We all contribute in our own way, whether we want to or not. It's bad enough. But let me tell you, the wild animals that do, didn't ask for society to be this way, for Three days, we have seen basically no birds in our yard. All of the birds have been hiding and taking cover. Uh, I don't even, uh, there's no way to even know how many are dead. I'm sure that tons of them are accidentally eating poison. Uh, the waterways are completely and utterly ruined in the following days after fireworks shows because of how much gunpowder ash settles down into the waterways. And let's not even begin with the air quality. You, you don't believe me? Go right now. If you live in a major city that had fireworks shows last night, go look up your AQI in your city right now, and you will be fucking shocked to find out that it is severely dangerous to the degree that you can actually feel it. If you go out on a walk in the morning after a, bi uh, after a fuckload of fireworks shows go off, you will feel your lungs burning from how much gunpowder and lead you are breathing in. It is horrible, and animals have to live in that shit. They have to live through all of it. They have to live through the bombardment. They have to live, they can't go inside. They don't have anywhere to hide, okay? I don't know why Demon Mama keeps apologizing for this obviously sensible take. Thank you. The reason why I keep apologizing is because I get it. Fireworks can be a lot of fun. And I think that it's, 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 I get it. Okay, I get why people have fun with them. It's cool to be able to shoot something up into the sky and be able to see the colors and and you know make your mark on the world in that way. But it does it's not fun anymore when like I said every other house in a neighborhood with hundreds of houses or in the downtown area where there's thousands of people living in buildings that are tightly packed have to be subjected to explosive noise. Um not to mention the risk of injury, not to mention the wildfires and all of this crap. Um, it's it's really, really pathetic and it, and it really bums me out. Uh, and also, maybe I'm just a softie, but my heart was like ripped in half all day yesterday because I can't stand to see my dog suffer like that. And there's nothing I can really do. I mean, maybe next year I can plan a camping trip out into the middle of the woods, which is something we thought about doing but didn't really have the time to do, especially given that I was sick for a couple of days. It's just, it's just, uh, it's depressing, okay? It's depressing and it's frustrating and it's irritating. And uh, yeah, 
I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of, uh, you know, like I said, in the days of yore, it was a ritual. It was to, rem you would remember the American Revolution, you know? Ah, remember what the what the brave patriots had to undergo from the British bombardment. And you go for an hour and you subject yourself to extremely loud and explosive noise. But now we're just literally replicating it. Now it's just like, welcome to America. From the 2nd of July to the 5th of July, you have to, uh, you have to undergo an actual bombardment. And let me tell you something. The average person does not know how to safely fire fireworks, okay? I'm serious. They really, really do not, okay? Like, last night, um, multiple people were firing their fireworks at an angle, which meant that when they detonated, it sent reverberations into people's windows and was setting off car alarms. I can't even count the amount of times that car alarms all across our neighborhood were just like Woo! all across the neighborhood from people firing these things at an angle so that they thought that they could see it more but really whoever's house that lands over that could fucking blow out their windows and yes as goddess trans girl says don't forget that if you live in a major city you also have to play the is that a firework or a gunshot game do you know how many do you do you guys don't want to know how many mass shootings there were yesterday do you Oh man, can we bring that up? Can I bring up that stat? Let me see if I can find that stat real quick. There were, I was reading an article about it this morning. The 4th of July overshadowed by 16 mass shootings across the United States. 4th of July mass shootings kill 13 and injure more than 80 across the United States. Yeah. NBC News sites, 17 were recorded across the country over the 4th of July weekend. So that's not just the 4th of July, that's the 4th of July weekend. Absolutely deranged. Oh, look at this. Thank goodness Forbes has come in. While there were 18 mass shootings over this over the 4th of July weakness, uh, weekend, there were fewer shootings this July 4th than the, in the past few years. That's encouraging. Wow. Oh, I know. I bet I know what you're going to talk about, Dust Aeon. Is it the uh, the drone performances? I'm sure they're really cool. America, fuck yeah. Look, uh, uh, I get it. I I genuinely understand. Um, people want to have their fun. People want to celebrate. They want the, an excuse to celebrate a holiday day, and I totally get that. But you want to know what's more base to do on the 4th of July? Cook some delicious food, seriously. And it's way better for your health, and it's way better for the health of the, of the world. It's way better for the environment. Um, it's just, oh, man. It's too much. Become grill-pilled. Become grill-pilled. And also your chances of hurting yourself or a loved one goes way down. You know, people like unironically, seriously, regularly hurt themselves with fireworks, um, like really bad. And wildfires, wildfires every year are started by fireworks because people fire so many and there's only so many fire, there's only so many volunteer fire people to help put out fires when they happen. And some of them get out of control before anybody can stop them. The U.S. is a PvP zone? Yeah, it does kind of feel that way sometimes. Again, I wouldn't feel so bad about all this if there was, like, other stuff. If there was, like, if there was some level of, like, social cohesion in the United States. If in the U.S. there was a general culture of actually caring about your neighbors, of being somewhat respectful. If there were, like, for example... I don't even think I would have as much of a problem with all the fireworks if people, if there was just like a generally understood social rule that you don't fire them after 11. There were fireworks, the loudest bout of fireworks was after, was around midnight. That was when it was going the craziest. People were going nuts. And also on the second, 
when it tipped over onto the or on the third when it tipped over to the fourth at midnight people fired off a huge volley of stuff at 12 30 from from 12 o'clock to 12 30 boom 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 just like man what the fuck why just be chill why not how like why why can't people just be like there's so many levels more than is reasonable like so many things where i'd be willing to be like ah eh, whatever maybe i'm just being a grouch maybe i'm just being a complainer but like i don't know i think it's unreasonable to expect uh every every house that has a dog every house that has like old people with heart conditions in it every house with a veteran to just suffer for like half a week because some people want to blow up a a a a shitty firework that they overpaid for just sucks oh straight up another bored person in in youtube chat says man wouldn't the fireworks be better if every neighborhood just did one big cookout where they all fire them together all at the same time and then get it over with that would legitimately be so much cooler it would legitimately be acceptable if everybody got together cooked a bunch of food, hung out with each other, and then they do one little, one fireworks show, make it a big show if you want to, fire a bunch of stuff, and then call it good. Call it good. They should be banned within city limits. It was much worse than this year than any other year that I can remember. It, it last year was really, really bad. And the year, uh, 2020 was one of the worst years because uh, in 2020, there was like, so people were so pissed off like the general populace was super pissed off on july 4th for a number of reasons it was a it was a very tense year but it led to a week of constant fireworks and i mean like i'm talking the place that we lived in 2020 uh like people were would go out in the middle of the night and fire them off in the parking lot and it would blow up right next to our fucking window it's insane insane Yeah. Anyway, I'm 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 done being a hater, I guess, on the fireworks, but uh it was sad to see all of the animals that are normally in our yard, all of the birds just disappear for a couple of days. Uh it, it was horrible. It was I felt like shit all day yesterday because I spent the entire day holding my dog while while she shook in fear and while she tried to like my dog when she get like she would got to points last night where she was trying to like climb the back of the couch to try and find a safe place to hide at one point she crawled behind our couch and was cowering behind the couch and it's just so depressing oh. Have you tried an anxiety vest yes we actually have an anxiety vest for Yoda but the problem was it was really hot yesterday and it was it was pretty clear that she was already overheating so we didn't want to put the vest on her um you know uh yeah we didn't want to put the vest on her when it was so hot uh we ended up the best solution that we ended up doing was we ended up taking yoda and giving her a bath in cool water during the during the the peak of the fireworks when the fireworks were really going off we took her into the bathtub and we ran cold water and we just washed her and she really seemed to appreciate that because the like the water noises were drowning out the sounds of the booms and the cold water was keeping her cool um but uh it was surprising that she was actually happy to get a bath because usually she doesn't love getting baths she likes swimming but um Anyway, that's me just complaining about the fireworks culture around the 4th of July and why you guys might think that I had some big, deep, lefty take for why I don't, I don't love the 4th of July, but the real reason is just that it makes me sad every year because um, I feel bad for people who uh, who have to get have to deal with that much noise and it gets it seems to get worse every year where it's just more and more commercial fireworks getting blasted into the air um we have to clean up so much debris uh doe and fawn spent like like 40 minutes picking debris out of the yard our porch was covered in debris i'm not kidding you it was like covered in it it sucks I just, I think that people need to cool it down a little bit. Just cool it down, you know? I guess that makes me a bleeding heart. I guess that makes me a fucking hippie. But so be it. I love, I love animals and I love dogs and it makes me sad that 
that we torture them for literally nothing other than setting off a bunch of fireworks. Anyway, uh, if you found this rant interesting, make sure that you press subscribe down below and leave me a comment. What are your feelings? Do you feel like I'm out of line? Do you, do you feel the same way about the 4th of July? Do your pets struggle? Tell me in the comments because I would like to know if other people feel similarly to me. Thank you very much.